Howdy, howdy, everyone. Welcome back. We are doing a snapshot. This is 12W32A. This will be in Minecraft 1.4. So right now, uh, they said they are currently working on all the bug fixes for 1.3.1, which will be released in the patch with 1.3.2. Anyway, let's get on this. There's a couple new blocks, uh, and uh, you got to know what the block IDs are to get them. Right now, there's no craftable recipes as, as of now, but uh, the blocks themselves are pretty cool. This block right here, this is called Work in Progress, block ID number 138. Very cool block. Uh, looks like it gives you uh, like power, like buffs and stuff. And you need to put emeralds underneath. I've, uh, I did test on this many, many times to figure this out. But you got to put emeralds underneath, which will go over here and it'll give you, uh, you can have both of them. You need emeralds, diamond, gold, or iron to, uh, to actually get these buffs. The next block, we got a command block, block ID 137. They stated on this block, it's used mainly for adventure maps. Um, I'm not really sure how to use this block. It doesn't say much on the reddit um, But it looks like It looks like you can probably hook this up to something and 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 be able to do stuff either give or harm or shoot potions or give blocks or something because it says use at player Yeah nearest player random player and all players so I'm not really sure how this block works. Oops. Yeah, I'm not really sure, but they say for PvP, the uh, PvP maps or something like that. Yeah, I'm not not too sure how to do that. But that is command block. Uh, block ID 137. And right now, if you wanted to give yourself that, you could do uh, give your name and then the ID number, and then it'll spit it out right there. And there you go. And same with that block. Um, the, another new uh, item is Potion of Night Vision. This is very, very cool. Um, it's not dark right now, but if it was, we can try it out right now. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's working. We'll wait until dark on that and we'll try it out. So this is how you use this work in progress block. Uh, right now, these are the pyramids uh, that you need to get all the buffs. Being the lowest one right here, being you're going to give um, haste, which means you can run faster. Or, or no, haste, you can mine faster. And speed, you can uh, run faster. And you can click on either one. And then by getting it, you want to... Uh, let's get some... Where are the ores at? Where are the ores? <laughs> Where are the ores at? What am I missing? Oh, right here. So we got a diamond or an emerald, um, iron, and gold. So yeah, you go to the block. You can put a piece of gold in. It'll give you a check mark and say done. Or why isn't this giving me it? Oh, I didn't pick anything. Duh. You got to pick one. It comes over here. You can put the item in. This lights up, and you get it. And apparently, I'm running faster. Is it haste? Oh yeah, it's speed too. Oh, there it is. Speed. Yep. So that's pretty cool. Um, during the test, you know, I was wondering if you can make a bunch of these and stuff. Oh yeah, it regenerates. It keeps on regenerating when you're around it. I don't know how far the distance is. Let's see. Five, four, no, oh, nope, looks like you can go out farther. Four, three, two, one. It's gone, so distance is not too far, maybe ten blocks or so. Oh, there it is, I got it back. Oh, there it is, I still got it. So maybe, wow, it goes pretty far. Three, two, one, let's see how far, if I get it again. How about here? Yep, so about right here. It looks like, uh, wow, that's probably like, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, maybe like 16 blocks. That's what it's looking like. Um, so yeah, if you want to build the smallest one right here, this takes 
nine uh, emerald blocks, which equals 81 emeralds. That's a ton right there, just for uh, two options, speed and haste. Uh, you go to the next one, which would be one step bigger of the pyramid, and it's got to be solid in between, meaning you can't you can't try to fake it and put a block under there. I tried. Um, now you get resistance and jump boost and you can choose either of these and it's the same thing you can use an emerald diamond gold or uh, iron ore to uh, to get what it is and it looks like the distance is gonna be 16 let's pick jump let's give it a diamond oh I'm on creative hold on um, let's see game mode 2 Whoa, does it look like I'm jumping higher? It does. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I'm on jump boost. Whoa, it, I am jumping higher. I still got it. Let's uh, let's see when it wears out. Let's see what the difference is. Three, two, one. Okay. So yeah, it does make a difference. Let's see if I go back in range. There it is. Look. Whoa. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I've never seen that. That's awesome. Anyway, so you go to the next one. Oh, I got Oh, I got speed on because I'm still within 16 blocks of this one. Very, very cool. You could probably strategically set all these up in a square to get every buff. Look at that. That's so cool. Let's try this one. Whoa, this jumping thing is a trip. Whoa. I <laughs> <laughs> so the next one you get strength and uh, again you can pay with one of these click done and then the very very last one okay so I forgot to tell you so this one over here whoa that's strip nine emerald blocks 81 emeralds to make that plus the work of progress block which is not craftable yet nobody knows oh, I got speed too whoa look at that uh, 34 emerald blocks for the next step with 306 emeralds. Very, very costly, you guys. The next one would give you 80. You got to get 83 emerald blocks and 747 emeralds. And the only thing you get the advantage on this one is strength. So, I mean, I don't know. You can make a bunch of strength potions if, if, if it was me. And the last one, the big dog. 167 emerald blocks which equals 1476 emeralds and when you get this one you get the regen with it as well you get the regeneration you can you can actually get regen on this uh, so you click regen done did it give me it oh there it goes there it is regen oh and I got strength from that one over there still so yeah, that's how that's how it is. That's the last one is regen. Pretty pretty cool. Um, it's a trip though. Let's uh, let's put our game mode back. Uh, game. Whoops. Mode one. Is it not game mode one? Oh whoops! I got to do in the command, not in the type. <laughs> I don't use single player commands much, guys. So uh, excuse me on that. So yeah. So now it's beginning to get dark, and let's try this out now, this night vision. We'll grab that, and we'll go on to the next spot. So yeah, those are the three new things. This is what it takes to craft all of them. Um, you get some pretty cool buffs, but that's pretty costly. You get that cool light effect. This is pretty cool. Pretty, I'd have to admit, that's, that's pretty awesome. These guys uh, over at Minecraft, they think of anything, man. And now we'll try the night vision. Give that to you and bam look at that look at that it's just like if it was day and you get six uh, five and a half minutes it looks like not too long but it looks like it's just day what a trip that is a trip we'll just keep that on right now and now the new thing uh zombies uh with villagers a couple things on uh it says on the reddit villagers will now react positively on new trades and negatively if you hurt them Meaning, let's see, let's go get a villager right here. We'll keep this guy in. Meaning if you hit, if you hit him, 
he gets this little mad effect right there. You see that smoke effect, that particle effect? Um, apparently, later on, it's going to affect your trades and stuff. Um, they, now, on the new uh, update, villagers will not remove trades, but trading something else may be required to renew the old ones. So now, say you find somebody that's good and he has like uh, paper for emeralds, so now you could actually keep them instead of them just getting rid of the trade, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Hey, guy, move. Move! I, I can't I can't get out <laughs> okay so now zombies and skeletons uh zombie zombies yeah let's ban a couple of zombies in here couple new things with whoa 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 I gotta um put it on hard difficulty makes the difference on this let me turn down my sound um zombies now zombies and skeleton I and I believe zombie um let me turn down my sound again Zombie, zombie pigmen, and skeletons. I believe zombie pigmen. Uh, on hard difficulty, uh, on rare occasions, you will see a zombie uh, with armor. Oh, there we go. And weapons. You see? He has a shovel. He has a sword. And the cool, cool part. Let's see. Um, let's see if we can see one. Zom oh, broke a door. Zombies will now... Uh, infect villagers, which means let's, let's see if we can. There's one right there. There's a Squidworth. You see the Squidworths getting thrown up in the air? Dang these iron golems. Get out of here. Right, let me get rid of these iron golems. <laughs> this is a trip. This is so cool, you guys. This is like awesome. This is awesome. Let me get rid of these guys. These guys are freaking bothering me now. Wow, these guys take a lot of hits. Get out of here. Holy moly. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get rid of these. Hold on. <laughs> you guys killed off all my zombies. What's up with that? God, uh, this is my test world, so that's why all these guys spawned in like so. There we go. Okay, so now let's get some more zombies going on. Here we go. And now let's see them infect them. This guy should be coming out. Once they infect them, they move to the next villager. And then they move on from there. Get away. Get. You're messing up my demonstration. Let's see if we get any Squidworth ones. Oh, they got a sword. Oh, yeah. See the Squidworth ones? Right there. You see how... Look, look. You see how they look different? <laughs> and apparently even the kids can get infected. And they're, and they're faster because they're smaller and they actually damage more. So now what they do is they infect everything and then they move on to the next. So after they infect all the villagers, like that, they just change. Watch that guy change. Um, so on hard difficulty, it's a hundred percent. Oh, he just changed. Uh, he's wearing. He's carrying a shovel. There he is. Oh, look at all these Squidward zombies. He's carrying a. Let's see if we can get a zombie. Uh, yeah, on hard difficulty. Whoa! How'd they get up here? These zombies are free. They can climb ladders. Who would ever known? On hard difficulty, zombies will uh, change in. They will infect the villagers 100% on uh, normal. I believe it's 50%. And on easy, I believe it's 25. Don't quote me on those, but that's what I thought I read. Uh, I just briefly looked over it. Get out of here, you guys. You're bothering my freaking test. <laughs> so yeah they infect them and let's see if we can get a zombie now on hard mode which you have to be on hard uh certain zombies let's see certain zombies will actually wear armor there it is there's leather armor right there what a trip so on hard difficulty you have the chance of getting that let's see if we can get another one <laughs> this is so cool that they're going to implement this in the game I, I this is just awesome Another arm armored one. Let's try a skeleton. Um, apparently, skeletons can wear sa the same stuff. Oh, chain armor. Look at that. And the night vision is about to wear off. As you can tell, you get this lighting effect. Let me see if I kill this skeleton if he gives me that armor. No, I didn't see anything. So, yeah. Here we go. Now it's dark again. <laughs> what a trip. <laughs> Let's give ourselves another one to light this up. So yeah, skeletons will now wear uh, armor, and I believe they even have a different weapon. Let's see. 
Uh, yep, right there. Enchanted bows. So who knows what they're gonna? F who knows what enchantments on them? And then uh, let me see if zombie pigmen uh, wear anything or. Oh, oh no. Oh, yep. Leather armor. Look at that. He's got leather armor on. So yeah, zombie pigmen. Uh, oh wow. Do they have enchantments on their swords? Yeah. Those look like enchanted swords. Look, they're glowing. Whoa. Whoa. That looks like. Yeah, that's an enchanted sword. I wonder if you get anything for killing them. Whoa. Whoa. Forgot about that. Jump. Okay. I can't get out of here. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's what I got for now in the snapshot. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. Um, I wish I had a little villager. I don't have a little one to see what he looks like. I've seen a picture of it. But um, this is what's in it. Um, this stuff over there, that's the cool stuff. Night vision. Um, yeah, you get, you get a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot of stuff. Um, so very, very cool. Very, very cool. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, I think I'm going to start doing more of these snapshots. I also read uh, they're going to start coming out on Thursdays. Whoa, look at this guy. Where'd that guy go? He just had... Look at that. Gold armor. Whoa. Gold armor. Oh, and he dropped a gold helmet. So, yes, they do drop some part of the armor. Okay, there's another villager right there. Look at those villagers. So, yeah, that's very cool. Uh, they do drop... Whoa, these guys are mad at me. <laughs> All right. You know what, you guys? Let's... let's uh, Where's the potion of damage? Strength, weakness. Where's the damage one? Weakness. Where is the damage one? Um. What? Is there no potion of damage? Weakness? Oh, well. Throw a couple poison ones on them. Can they get affected? Nope. They can't get affected. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this one. Um. Uh, yeah. Until the next one, you guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.